Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. Today we'll be talking about how to push the Stadia button. It's this controller, this button. Well, that's pretty easy, right? The trouble is when you're playing on Odin. So, I love playing Stadia on Odin. It's really good for that. The cloud gaming's great. But there's trouble that there is no Stadia button on the controller. So I'm gonna show you today three ways, maybe four, how you can push the Stadia button when you're in game. So I'll go in, then I realize, oh, oops, I did not choose the right um, layout. So I'll go down here to ABXY mode, because you see here BAYX, I need to change the Xbox layout. Close. So go back into Stadia. And so right now it's easy. I can easily get up here just by hitting that. I'm right up in the Stadia menu, but when I enter a game, I no longer have any way to go into the Stadia menu. So let's load up a game quick. Avicii and Vector is one of my favorite. It's a nice rhythm game. And now imagine I want to message a friend or look at invitations or anything like that, and there's no way to do it. I mean, I can go home, but I'll just let leave Stadia. So, one way I could do it is if before I entered the game, I linked up the controller. So, oh, see there's a game invitation for me, but I can't accept it right now, I just missed it. Oh, I was talking. Stupid videos I make. So, let's leave this for a second. Let's leave the game for a second. Hold on a second. Let's go back into the game. And we'll leave the game here, exit game. And here, I'll link up the controller. So what I can do is I can link up a real Stadia controller. And then within the game, so I hold it till it vibrates twice. And <clears throat> then I enter this code. I have down, Y, X, right, down, Y, X, right and now we see here it linked up stadia controller linked so now if i go out i can push the stadia button okay outside of a game what doesn't have any effect let's go into a game And now I should be able to push the Stadia button. And you see the Stadia menu appears right there. So then I could like accept invites or anything like that. Let's close out of that. But when you get that link code, write that link code down because you won't be using this controller to play. You'll be using this controller to play on the Odin. So this will go inactive after several minutes. So you want to reconnect the controller, so you need to have written that link code down ahead of time. So, write the link code down, push the button, link the controller, and that's one way. Another way, you can use your phone. So, let's get on my phone here, and let's load up Stadia. Alright, I'll choose the web app. And I've already got the main menu there. <laughs> so I've got this invitation to play. I can click it here. And then I can say switch game. So I'll hit switch game right now. And now it's loading up PGA Tour and I'm accepting this invitation. It's asking, do I want to quit Avicii and Vector? Okay. So we see on here also, this quits out of the game. And I'm entering PGA Tour on this device on my iPhone. I'm basically telling it I want to play PGA Tour 2K21 on my iPhone. No, Roger, your device to play, okay. Okay, I can say touch, try touch gamepad, all right. Um, so but the trouble is I don't want to play on a touch gamepad on my phone, I want to play on my Odin. So what I have to do now is I go down here and I find PGA Tour 2K21. I haven't played it in a while. There it is. Now I load up PGA Tour 2K21 on here, 
and you'll see that my game goes back. Give it a second. It'll exit out of the iPhone version, and it'll start on back in the Odin, and I can join my multiplayer game right here. Now, there's one more way we found that you can press the Stadia button when you're in a game, and that's to connect a Bluetooth keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as that is, because Stadia is also playable on PCs, Macs, and Linux. Um, they have keyboard shortcuts for everything. So, if I have the keyboard here, I'll just put this down here. You'll still be able to see it. Uh, that's sliding. Odin slippery. Okay. I'll put shift tab. And boom. The stadium menu appeared with shift tab. Also, if I wanted to take a screenshot, function F12. Press, and I took a screenshot right there. And if I hold it down, I'll be saving last 30 seconds as a video. So, shift tab is the Stadia menu. Function F12 on a Mac keyboard or just F12 on any other keyboard will bring up the screen capture or video capture. So, there's other one other potential way, but I haven't I can't test this because it's premium. I mean, I can test it, but I don't want to buy it if it doesn't work. But if any of you have this already, and you've already have the premium version, uh, there's this app called Button Mapper, and I believe you can set it so if you double tap the home button, you'll push Stadia instead. Let me go into Button Mapper here. Oh, I'm in the other mode. Yep, of course. Um, home button, and I can say Customize, and then I would choose Double Tap, or you can do Long Press if you prefer. Let's do Double Tap. And you can play custom key code version 2 pro so i believe if you push this and you pay for this pro feature you'll be able to enter that it would remap double tapping the home button to shift tab but given that it's a key combination i'm not sure it's going to work so i haven't bought it because i don't want to buy it to just to see it doesn't work and yeah it's annoying so no thanks i don't want to do it man there's two other ways this can be solved. And AYN, I want to talk to you first. <laughs> you could solve this by mapping. You have these two buttons, M1 and M2 on the back. If you map M1 to the Shift Tab key, then that should let us push the Stadia button there. And map M2 to the F12 key. That should let us screen capture and video capture. Google, talking to you now, why does this do nothing? You've got a whole touch screen here. You can just have it, you detect the Odin handheld, or even just do it for every handheld. If you tap the screen, when there's a controller attached, then add on-screen buttons for a Stadia button and a capture button, and the problem solved. So I hope AYN or Google is listening and they're going to remove this annoying problem for us all. So thanks for watching. I'm going to play some golf right now, if you'll excuse me. So like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join me sometime for some PGA Tour. All right. Catch you later. Where's my driver?